define electric field strength at a point. This definition is actually different from electric field. So what does electric field strength at a point say? It says that the electric field at a point is the electrostatic force experienced per unit positive charge placed at that point. The electrostatic force experienced per unit positive charge placed at that point. That is electric field strength at a point. Totally different from just electric field. The answer to 6.1. Now let's look at 6.2. 6.2 is saying that let's sketch the electric field pattern around spheres B and C if A was removed. So let's look at B and C only. B is negatively charged as you can see and C is also negatively charged. So what is going to happen to those two spheres? They are going to repel like charges repel. So we're going to have an electric field that looks like the following. There we go. I want you to realize something. Sphere B has a magnitude of 2.64 nanocolumns and Sphere C has a magnitude of 7.46 nanocolumns. That is why I'm deciding to put a lot of electric field lines on Sphere C compared to Sphere B. Usually examiners don't care about that, but you never know. The greater the magnitude the more full lines you should allocate to that sphere. 6.2. Let's look at 6.3. 6.3 is saying that charge B experiences a net force of 0.000478 newtons due to charges A and C. Find the distance R between the charges B and C. Let's go ahead and do some conceptualization here. Uh, so our charge of interest is B. We have the net electrostatic force that B is experiencing due to A and C. So let's draw a free body diagram for all the forces that B is experiencing along the X that is. So B is negatively charged. C is negatively charged. That tells us that they're going to repel like we have deduced in 6.2. So C will be pushing B to the left. So this is F of C on B. Now let's look at B and A. B is negatively charged. A is positively charged. So A will be attracting B to the left. So again, uh, we have F of A on B. So all our forces are pointing to the left. That is to say that the F net on B will be equals to F A on B plus F C on B. Just a friendly reminder, F is equals to K, Q1, Q2 divided by R squared. So F net is equals to, actually let me not say F net anymore because we know what F net is. F net is zero, point zero zero four zero seven eight and that should be equals to f of a on b so we're going to substitute in this formula uh, that will be k k is a constant nine times ten to the power nine multiplied by q1 so we can take q1 as a which is five point six times ten to the minus nine multiply by Q2, which is B in this instance, 2.34 times 10 to the minus 9. We're only interested on the magnitude. We don't have to put a sign in electrostatics. And then the distance between them is 6 millimeters. So we're going to have 6 divided by a 1,000 squared. You divide by a 1,000 when you want to convert millimeters to meters. And then plus F, C on B. Right. So we're going to have 0 0.004078 being equals to. When you put that in your calculator, you should get 0 0.003276 plus FC on 
B. So now it's just a matter of taking uh, this term to the left hand side and we have f of c on b right if you do that you get 0 0.000802 being equals to f of c on b instead of f of c on b now let's go ahead and substitute so we're gonna have k again which is 9 times 10 to the power 9 multiplied by b the magnitude of b which is 2.34 times 10 to the minus 9 multiplied by the magnitude of c which is 7.46 times 10 to the minus 9 everything divided by r squared if we do a bit of a mathematical manipulation at this point we're gonna get r squared is equals to 9 times 10 to the power 9 multiply by 2.34 times 10 to the minus 9 multiply by 7.46 times 10 to the minus 9 everything divided by 0 0.00802 we take square roots on both sides r is equals to 0 0.014 meters and just like that, we have solved 6.3. Let's look at 6.4. So 6.4 changes A and B are allowed to touch and then moved back to the original distance between them. Calculate the new charge on each sphere. So when charges are allowed to touch and then separated, we say that Q nu is equal to Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2. But then in this formula, we actually have to account for whether a sphere is positively charged or negatively charged. For A, we can say that 5,6 times 10 to the minus 9 plus Q2, which is B, minus 2.34 times 10 to the minus 9, times 10 to the minus 9, right, divided by 2. The answer here should be equals to 1.63 times 10 to the minus 9 columns 6.4.2 explain the change if any to the fold pattern between b and c so initially they were all negative and now b our sphere b is now positive our sphere b is now positive and c is still negative so they're now going to attract. So what happens to the electric field lines when two spheres are attracting? What do they look like? 